Okay, we're back. I wanted to start out with a really interesting question. Dazzling Donna wrote in all the way from Louisiana. She says, Matt, I've mentioned before that I'd love to see you do a define type post where you define terms that you Googlers use that we non-Googlers might get confused about. Things like data refresh, orthogonal, etc. You may have divine, defined them in various places, but one cheat sheet type of list would be great. Uh, a very good question. So, uh, at some point I'll have to do a blog post about host versus domain and a bunch of stuff like that. But several people have been asking questions about June 27th, July 27th. So let me talk about those a little bit in the context of uh, a data refresh versus an algorithm update versus an index update. So I'll use the metaphor of a car. Back in 2003, we would crawl the web and index the web about once every month. And when we did that, uh, that was called an index update. Algorithms could change, the data would change, everything could change all in one shot. So that was a pretty big deal. Uh, Webmaster World would name those index updates. Now that we pretty much crawl and refresh some of our index every single day, it's, it's Everflux, it's an always going on sort of process, the biggest changes that people tend to see are algorithm updates. Uh, you don't see many index updates anymore because we've moved away from this monthly update cycle. The only times you might see them is uh, if you're computing an index which is incompatible from the old index. So for example, if you change how you do segmentation of CJK, uh, Chinese, Japanese, or Korean, something like that, you might have to completely change your index and build another index in parallel. So index updates are relatively rare. Algorithm updates basically are when you change your algorithm. So maybe that's changing how you score a particular page. You say to yourself, oh, you know, the page rank matters this much more or this much less, things like that. And those can happen pretty much at any time. So we call that asynchronous because whenever we get an algorithm update and it evaluates positively, it improves quality, it improves relevance, we go ahead and push that out. And then the smallest change is called a data refresh. And that's essentially like you're changing the input to the algorithm. You're changing the data that the algorithm works on. So an index update with a car metaphor would be changing a large section of the car, things like uh, changing the car entirely. Whereas an algorithm update would be things like changing a part in the car, maybe uh, changing out the engine for a different engine or some other large part of the car. A data refresh is more like changing the gas in your car. Every one or two weeks or three weeks if you're driving a hybrid, you'll change what actually goes in and how the algorithm operates on that data. So for the most part, uh, data refreshes are a very common thing. We try to be very careful about how we safety check them. Uh, some data refreshes happen all the time. So for example, we, con we compute PageRank continually and continuously. So there's always a bank of machines refining PageRank based on incoming data. And PageRank goes out all the time anytime there's a new update within our index, which happens pretty much every day. Uh, by contrast, some algorithms are updated every week, every couple weeks, and so those are data refreshes that happen on a slower pace. So the particular algorithm that people are interested in on June 27th and July 27th, uh, those algorithms, well that particular algorithm has actually been live for over a year and a half now. So it's data refreshes that you're seeing that are changing the way people's sites rank. In general, uh, if your site has been affected, you know, go back, take a fresh look and see is there anything that might be uh, exceedingly over-optimized or, you know, maybe I've been hanging out on SEO forums for such a long time that I need to have a regular person come in and take a look at the site and see if it looks okay to me. Uh, if you've tried all the regular stuff and it still looks okay to you, then I would just keep building regular good content, try to make the site very useful, and if the site is useful, then Google should, uh, you know, fight hard to make sure that it ranks where it should be ranking. That's about the most advice I can give about June 27th and July 27th data refreshes, uh, because it does go into our secret sauce a little bit, but that hopefully gives you a little bit of an idea about the scale, the magnitude of different changes. Algorithm changes uh, are, happen a little more rarely, but data refreshes are always happening, and sometimes they happen from day to day, and sometimes they happen from week to week or month to month.